The eight people were taken to the hospital this morning after a rollover crash that ripped apart a transport bus. A number of ambulances and med flight helicopters swarmed the area outside of Fort Atkinson for hours this morning. And our Leah Lynchide is here with the details. Leah? Hi, Eric and Susan. Well, officers got the call just before 7.30 this morning to Highway 106 in Jefferson County where that crash happened. Neighbors there say, though, it's not the first serious accident to take place along the highway. I've lived here my whole life. Highway 106 is a familiar stretch of road for Fort Atkinson resident I, Lindsay Bickle. You know, it's a country road, so it's it's got curves and lines and hills. She wasn't surprised to hear the highway was a scene of a rollover crash this morning, where police say a transport bus crossed the center line and went into the ditch, hitting a utility pole. The accident sent eight people to the hospital, some via multiple med flight helicopters, and miles of the road were shut down for nearly four hours. There has been a few, over the years, a few accidents along this road. It's the second time in just the last year Lindsay can remember a serious crash here, even after part of the road was redone to make this hilly highway safer. Being from a small town, of course you wonder, is it someone that I would know? Lindsay's still waiting to hear who was on that bus and if she knew them. For now, though, she's just hoping for the best. That's a lot of people, a lot of injuries, and, you know, you just hope for the best, and hopefully everyone will be okay. Now, the names of the people involved won't be released until family members have been notified. No word on how they're doing tonight either. The company who owns the transport bus, meanwhile, is out of Fort Atkinson. It declined to comment on the crash. All right, Leah Lynch with the latest on that story tonight. Leah, thank you very much.